So, you purchased a Marine Innovations inclined elevator. It has been built and is on its way to your home. What's next? Our proven installation procedure is part of what makes us the industry leader in quality and longevity. Watch for a condensed review of a system installation. Your inclined elevator system will be installed by your trained dealer or a Marine Innovations installation team. Your salesperson will have located top and bottom landing sites and attached a string line to provide a straight and true location for the track. The string line helps match elevation to any pre-existing decks and will help with rail contouring if needed. Modular construction is one of the qualities of a Marine Innovations tram system. Parts are designed to be easily transported from the trailer to the installation location. No heavy equipment is needed. After the string line is set, the crew will start moving parts to the hillside and pre-assembling components. The first section of the track is key to the installation. It must be properly aligned with the string line to ensure the track runs true and the system will start and end where intended. The installers will only move forward after the section is parallel to the string line, square, and at the proper starting elevation. After the first section is locked into place, the installers continue down the hill, building one section at a time. Our proprietary pin pile installation method ensures a solid foundation. Each pin pile is driven to an engineered resistance, generally 6 to 10 feet into the hillside. Rocky installations may require special rock anchors. Our pin piles are 2 inch WT40 galvanized steel pipe. With an outside diameter of 2 and 3 8 inches and durable galvanized finish, they will last a lifetime and exceed the stability requirements, all at a fraction of the cost of concrete footings and without the erosion potential of excavating for footings. Each track section is measured to ensure it remains level and straight. If the track height exceeds 4 feet, X bracing is added for stability. The final track section may be cut down to reach a desired landing point. After the final rail section is installed, the end piece is attached. Control wires are run through the track for the lower controls. Now the track is complete. The installation crew will now place a trolley on the track. Once it is secured, they will mount and set up the drive assembly. The drive cable is attached to the trolley. The brake cable is run through the brake assembly and connected to the power frame and end piece with wedge sockets. Next, the carriage is mounted to the trolley, leveled, and front extension arms installed. The control panel has been mounted close to the power unit at the top of the hill. The motor wiring is completed and the top and bottom control stations are connected to the control panel. The basic drive functions are tested. Top and bottom terminal stop and final stop switches are mounted to the track. All controls are tested for proper operation. Safety systems like the slack cable system are tested. Next the governor is installed and an overspeed test is performed to assure the carriage will stop if it exceeds the maximum allowed speed. The power frame cover is assembled and mounted to the power unit. The Marine Innovations installation crew cleans the installation area and gives the homeowner operation instruction. As needed, local contractors will complete landings and install landing gates. Marine Innovations can assist with landing installation by driving pin piles and supplying deck brackets. Ask for details. After landings and landing gates are installed, your system is ready to use. You can enjoy your lake and your views too and not have to worry about steps.